Hey guys, what's up? It's Shanice. So today I'm doing a video on that trend that has been going around on YouTube for the past few weeks. The I tried to follow blank makeup tutorial, but instead of doing a makeup tutorial because my channel is more about hair, I thought I would do the hair version, okay? So the person that I chose to follow was Jayla Majette. If you guys don't know who she is, you better find out who she is. I will leave her link down below. She is amazing. Like her hair tutorials are popping her makeup tutorials are popping in general she's just popping like everything about her she just she's so real so that's why i like her so yeah i decided to follow one of her hair tutorials and i don't know how this video is gonna come out after i edit it it's probably crazy i probably look a fool but this is this is my hair right now this is my hair so let go and if you guys are not already subscribed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up it does really help me and i will see you guys all in the next video hey guys so this video is super duper last minute um i wasn't really planning on filming it but as i was doing it i was like why not come up here and film it and show you guys an updated wash and go routine well first things first 75 percent of my hair is already done i only have this little piece in the front to do and I've been trying out some new products. Ow, ouch, ouch. ow. First is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair Leave-In Conditioning Cream. Cause it leaves a little bit of a white, like crummy residue. That sounds so nasty, but. So with this leave-in conditioner, she also uses the Eco Style Black Caster and Flaxseed Oil Gel. So that's what I'm gonna be using. So it looks like she only applies a little bit on and she gets it like real, real thorough really rubbing it in there i think because i feel like i'm kind of using heat by being so i guess rubbing it so hard it kind of like rubs it rubs it in there if you just slap it on there it's gonna leave some residue like on this side i have a little bit of residue but on this side i don't have any guys i hope this is gonna come out good because i usually like i never use eco Styler gel for my hair um at all i'm just it's just not my thing I thought it was like usually for like a you know just your edges and stuff but i've heard so many good things about it so hopefully my hair comes out as bomb as jayla's so literally she just works that in like so heavy and then i'm gonna be going in with the eco style black caster and flaxseed oil gel It has like a very perfumey smell. Hmm. It's not bad though, it's not bad. So I'm just gonna take like a clump of that and just ew, put that. So like she really, really works it in like thoroughly. Can you guys see it defining my curls? I'm not sure. I see it getting really smooth though. So I got this last section right here, so I'm gonna spritz it with some water because her hair looks actually super wet. She didn't really show that her hair was wet, but it looked wet because I seen it dripping. So we are just gonna make sure that my hair is wet because if it's not wet, it's not gonna work. Okay, so we're gonna take a little bit of the Cantu. Work it in the ends like she does. And then all throughout the hair, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Y'all, yeah, throughout this whole video, Jayla had her hair in her face. <laughs> the comments were so funny about it too. Y'all, yeah, how does it feel that my hair is covered the whole time? I feel like I'm the girl from the ring or something. Okay, 
so we're gonna go in with the gel now I'm gonna do it section by section again so like with the gel I'm just going ham because the gel is what's gonna really smooth it out So this is the last section. Again, I'm just applying more of the gel to smooth everything out and hopefully it makes my curls pop. Okay, so that's it. I'm done. I'm going to part my hair. I'm gonna get myself a middle part. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more styler. Can't have too much gel, get away all the flyaways. Ooh, I like, or do I? I think this looks cute on her and not really on me. We're gonna tuck this part behind the ear. So take a little bit right here, a little bit right here. And we are going to bobby pin it. Yeah. Am I doing this right, guys? Am I? Ooh, that's cute. Not really. Oh my gosh, no. This is this is Jayla, it looks so cute on you. I look like I don't even know. Like I belong somewhere in the south. Like my hair should be in two pigtails. That's how I would feel right now. Like I look I look weird. Jayla! <laughs> okay, y'all, whatever. This is the best that I can do. So I'm gonna go put on my makeup and I'm gonna show you guys how it looks when it dries. Hopefully, it looks better than how it looks now. Okay, guys, so I am back and this is my hair. I feel like after I put on makeup and everything, it looks a lot better and I feel like it came out like pretty, pretty well. I Like, my hair is not 100% dry, but it's like, 75% dry and what I notice now with using this eco styler gel is that it leaves me more with like a wet Type of look and my hair is like a lot flatter I feel like because the gel really smooths everything out and it weighs my hair down a little bit more So it gives me more of like that wet kind of I don't know how to explain it But you guys see what I mean because my hair is not as big as it usually is um, even though it's still a little bit wet um, it's still gonna dry like this. Like I can tell like how it's gonna dry. It's gonna dry like really super fine and defined. Like I, ca I can't put my hands on it, but um, yeah, I feel like it came out pretty well. So Jayla, shout out to you, honey. No wonder you got like a million views on that video, 40K likes, like, whew. I feel like my hair looks pretty bomb. And you guys have been asking me about this hairstyle, so Jayla, follow Jayla's tutorial or you can follow mine now, whatever one you want. But it came up pretty, pretty good. Like, look, look at the definition. Look at it. It's pretty. It's cute. I like it. And I can see what she was talking about, about the, like, the little white spots. Like, I do have the little white, like, crummy nastiness that she was talking about. I don't know if you guys can see it. But yeah, it's not that bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial or I try to follow Jayla Majette tutorial, um, hair tutorial. So I think it came out pretty good. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. If you guys want me to do somebody else in particular, definitely leave that suggestion down below. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Deuces.